Hey guys, in today's tutorial, we're going to go over how to create a topic cluster in HubSpot. So to give you a better idea of what topic clusters even are, imagine some sort of uh, hub, right? So you have this big circle. Just pretend you just envision this big circle right in the middle, right? And so it's some sort of all-encompassing uh, topic, right? So something relatively broad. And this, you know, in tutorial for this video, I'm going to be using something like, uh, you know, video marketing, right? So it's a relatively broad term. There's probably a lot of different results you'll get if you ever search video marketing in Google. Um, but then if you look at it really closely, you'll notice that there are highly specific topics within that overarching topic, like maybe you know video marketing for a specific you know vertical, or maybe you know ten things you need to know about video marketing, or you know what someone wish they knew before they got into video marketing, or kind of like best practices in video marketing. You kind of get the idea of you know what are the more nitty gritty, granular you know drill down topics within some sort of overarching topic. So the idea is that you know you have video marketing in the middle, but then you have all of these smaller topics associated with it. And so you kind of get this, you know, hub of, you know, your pillar page, which is, you know, this long form page, you know, landing page or website page um, that tells you everything you need to know about video marketing in general, but also has specific sections on kind of more specific uh, areas of video marketing. Um, so to kind of get more visual, right? So let's go to, in the master navigation, let's go to marketing. Let's go to planning and strategy and let's go to SEO. And then so SEO is kind of a nice tool in HubSpot where you can do some some keyword research if you want to or really just do uh, a, a mapping of how you want your topic cluster to look. So right now, if you like you were just starting off the bat, you wouldn't see anything here. But, you know, we can also see all of the existing topic clusters that we've kind of played around with as well or that you are, have existing right now. So I want to add a new topic. Again, I want to add something like, you know, video marketing. I'm going to add that. Uh, so what's going to happen now is HubSpot is actually going to use SEMrush or SEMrush to pull in the monthly search volume and the difficulty uh, that, it, you know, based on how many other people are ranking for this and kind of the change of that. But you have your average monthly search volume of 4,400 searches per month with a difficulty of 69. So how hard will it be based on a 100-point scale to actually break into the top 10 results? Um, the scores can be relatively arbitrary, but normally we like to look at scores that are less than 75 uh, just because based on conversations we had with SEMrush, that 75 is kind of this you know, point where it starts to get pretty difficult. Um, so 69, that's, you know, it's a relatively good number. We can work with that. Monthly search volume of 4,400, that's pretty good. We can work with that. Um, so I like that. So I'm going to create a topic around video marketing. So if we go back to what we were kind of envisioning earlier, right, we have video marketing in the middle. And then we have all of these subtopic keywords surrounding it. It's kind of like this web, right? And so the whole idea is that, you know, in this main video marketing core, um, we would have some sort of really long pillar page, you know, with tons of, you know, high quality content uh, for people to learn all about video marketing. Um, and, you know, if we want to attach the content URL, we'd actually search for, you know, the pillar page that we have hosted within HubSpot that we built. Um, around it is where we'd actually link a whole bunch of different blog posts. Um, and so, you know, let's say it's video marketing, right? So that's that's our that's our main topic. If we want to add a subtopic keyword, uh, we want something like, um, you know, video marketing best practices. So it's still highly relevant to our video marketing core but it's more niche. It's actually, you know, it's it's something, it's it's a topic that people are trying to, you know, learn more about because they want to learn, you know, what are the best practices in video marketing and not just Googling straight up video marketing. 
So because it's a little more niche, you'll notice that the monthly searches are a lot lower. Um, and so this is when the monthly searches are lower, this is a, you know, what we call a long, long tail keyword versus, you know, video mark where the monthly searches are much higher. That's a short tail keyword. Um, so you kind of want to populate, you know, your topic cluster uh, with kind of these more niche subtopic keywords. Um, and again, a very similar process will happen here where you're going to attach content URL and it's going to be, you know, the, a blog post or a landing page that you have that is all about video marketing best practices. Let's say, you know, you wrote a blog and published it recently where it was the, you know, most important, you know, best practices in successful video marketing, right? And that, you know, maybe that got a lot of traction. You would actually link, you know, you would attach that blog post URL in the topic clusters tool, as well as actually go into that blog post itself and include a link from this subtopic blog post to your pillar page. And you would use the keyword phrase video marketing because that's what you're trying to win on. So how you link from all of your subtopics, you know, you maybe you have a dozen or maybe six to 12, right? How you link from those subtopics to your main topic is very, very important. And you want to always be consistent in how you're linking it so you don't have any sort of keyword cannibalization with, you know, various uh, pages kind of vying for the same uh, keyword phrase. Um, so you want to make sure that, you know, your video marketing best practices blog post and your 10 things about video marketing that you wish you would have known before you started or, you know, case studies on um, video marketing or, you know, how video marketing has evolved over the past decade are all linking back to your video marketing pillar page and using the a specific linking phrase of video marketing in every single blog post because you want to establish the idea that when someone searches for video marketing, your page is all about video marketing. So that is the basics of creating a topic cluster. As soon as you attach all of this content here and you actually link from your subtopic to your main topic, this line will appear green and it'll tell you that you have successfully linked these two things using some sort of link phrase. Um, you can view performance over time. This is really helpful just to see like, you know, are you getting a lot of organic traffic? Because really at the end of the day, SEO search engine optimization and topic clusters are kind of, you know, their SEO, their organic SEO plays. Uh, at the end of the day, you want to generate more organic traffic because, you know, people are searching video marketing or even, you know, benefits of video marketing. Your pillar page is coming up in the top even one or two or three or even the featured snippet box on, you know, specific questions or, you know, concerns people might have. Um, and that's all done without you spending any money on, you know, paid ads or you know paid social so it's all kind of this this free well it's not actually free because you spend a lot of time doing it um but it's kind of this it is this organic traffic um that you're getting because you're making this long-term seo play so that is the uh hubspot topic cluster methodology in a nutshell